<laughs> All right, guys, we're back finally. Uh, a lot of people have been very excited about Easy A Kami here. Uh, yeah, he seems really great. Goresh has been hounding me about taking this guy against Omega, and everyone's wanted to see him. Um, took a, a little bit, right, because the data download happened, then World Tournament was in a couple of days. Then Kami, like, officially goes live, but we need to wait for World Tournament rewards to actually show up before I can actually Easy A him, right? So, I've got him easy aid. Um, I mean, Kami... I mean, I, let's just say this right now. Is Kami good? No. I don't think so. Um, I mean, we can make it... You can make it work, I, I guess. Because he is a dodge character, but... I mean, if you're expecting miracles out of Kami, probably not. Now, you might be curious. Oh, what should we do for potential system build? No, no one cares, but you go full dodge on this guy. Um, I didn't really give him the craziest dodge equips ever. I mean, I guess I did give him some strong ones. We got him at 25 dodge, though, so that's, that's decent. Uh, we're we're going to do a typical sort of like rainbow you know type showcase here. We got him at level 10 links and all that good stuff. Um, we'll take him probably into red zone cell. Uh, we'll sort of see what he does. We'll go over what he's doing and stuff like that. Um, and then we will do a follow-up video. We'll, we'll take him into Omega. Now, I feel like we could probably win pretty easily against Omega because it's like Kami just gets a couple of clutch dodges off and we're good. Um, but, you know, we'll <laughs> we will see. Uh, I don't anticipate Kami is going to look very good today. Let's just say that, though. All right, guys. Uh, let's uh, get this show on the road. All right. Um, let's quickly go over what Kami does. He has 100k defense. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's quickly go over what Kami does. Um, and then you guys will understand why this is not really... Um, I would... I mean, I would say acceptable. A lot of free-to-play characters have been fumbles. But, I mean, this Kami... It does suck because this is the only Kami. So, like, him actually being, like, helpful, you know, would be nice. He doesn't have a 200% leader skill, by the way. I guess I should point this out. Um, is that we are using Kami just on a 170% leader. Um, Kami, it would be nice if he was actually, you know, an effective character. Because, I mean, he, look at some of these categories. Realm of Gods, Namekian, right? Dragon Ball Saga, Gifted Warriors, Heavenly Events, Earthbred Fighters. Bro, he's got some teams. I mean, you know, or, uh, honestly, I mean, Namekian is probably better than Realm of Gods. Probably. I mean, I'd have to look into it deeper, but I would just assume Namekian is actually stronger than Realm of Gods. But, like, so, like, Realm of Gods, Dragon Ball, Saga, Heavenly Events, like, these are categories that need help. And Kami, I mean, could have been effective help. He is a support. Um, I, funny enough, I, I think they actually were a little close. Eh, I don't know, because he, he, even if he had a 70% chance to dodge, he would still need a lot more defense, right? Um, to be super effective. Oh, brother, yeah, cord issues. I mean, during the Kami video, sure, right, whatever. All right, so instantly, kind of a big deal for Kami. No defense on super attack effect. I mean, this is just criminal. At, at any characters at all, without getting just simply 30% defense at minimum on their super attack, it really hurts. I mean, it's like, do are we, are we getting these characters for burst mode, or are we getting them to actually compete in, like, events, right? Like, it's, it's you gotta be getting defense here. Um, the only real effectiveness Kami does... Supreme damage lowers attack rate, lowers defense. So he has lowering attack. Um, then he gets 100% attack and even start a turn. 100% attack on super attack. I don't know why the hell he doesn't get defense there. It doesn't make any sense. And he gives all allies two key 25% attack and defense. Then Earthbred Fighters or Gifted Warrior category allies get another one key and 10% attack and defense. Uh, then he has a medium chance to dodge. And then he gets another 30% chance to dodge before attacking. And then finally, he gets 50% HP when HP is 30% or less at the start of turn once only. I, man, I, I've noticed Dokkan, they do heavily value heals like that. I, look at the STR Gohan, how bad he is, right? I mean, we could... Uh, uh, hey, guess what? He's a Heavenly Events character, just like Kami. This Gohan has a similar heal. V similar, but, you know, he's a summonable character, so he heals no matter what. I think that Dokkan might be overvaluing those heals. Look at LR Metal Cooler and stuff like that. I really think they are. Um, one character that has a heal like that that's still busted anyway is AGL Carnival LR Goku. But I think Dokkan 
they might be overvaluing um, these healing effects. They're not that busted. You have so many strong characters who can get you health back regardless, right? Even just by getting same type orbs, you'll heal hundreds of thousands of HP just throughout an event, right? Uh, if Kami wasn't bad enough, he's only got six links as well, right? I mean, it's it, it sucks. Because guess what Linky doesn't have? Namekians, right? Like, you know, he could just have the Namekian link. He has Prodigies, Cold Judgment, Strength and Unity, Incredible Adventure, Got into the Dragon Ball, and Shattering Limit. Um, strength and Unity, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, a, that's tough. That's a tough one. That is a tough one right there. This is Dragon Ball Saga Piccolo characters, is what this is, essentially. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> I mean, you guys don't need me to tell you it's bad. You could just look at that and tell that that's bad. And honestly, for how, you know, kind of like uh, dog shit the roster is, it only gives 2 key and 3% HP regen. Not like it's that crazy. So... All right, now Kami, right? Remember, what's the golden thing? Kami has a 30% chance to dodge, but Kami also has a 30% chance to dodge while attacking. Now, the way you use Kami, I mean, uh, where are we actually using him? Dragon Ball Saga Burst Mode, maybe? Uh, like, that's it. Like, he, Kami is pretty bad. You have to hide him at all times. I mean, he is supporting. So, it, it's like Kami is bringing value. But he can't take he cannot take a hit. That 100k defense, that's it. Like that it's not like a, a smoke screen. There's so many characters where like you could show their start of turn defense and try and push a narrative of oh my god, they're so bad. But like they're doing a million things or getting a million defense from you know super attack effects and passive effects and stuff like that. Not Kami. I mean, we're missing out, I guess, on Cold Judgment. And shattering a limit, but like, bro, <laughs> what do you want me to work miracles here? Uh, this is the start of the fight, and Cell is sealed. So we could get away with running Kami and Saw 1 right here, because Cell is sealed. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to keep Kami out of harm's way. I suppose it would be important to show how Kami tanks, though, once we get into the deeper recesses of this fight. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow! Oh my god, dude, that's the first phase! Okay. That's tough. That is tough right there. <sighs> you know, I don't think we need to put him in harm's way, actually. I think uh, already the point is made. Oh my god. Now, okay, he took 166k, right? Like, okay, it's a lot of damage. That was with Bulma and Yatcha... We had Bulma and Yajirobe support. Guys, we had Bulma and Yajirobe support up. Oh my god, dude. You you pieces of shit really want me to take this guy into Omega. It's going to be tough. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be real hard. I mean, we've got the full dodge build. It's it's literally going to be Prey, right? Like, just Prey. Um, if Ka Kami, if one hit from SCR Omega touches... A, a single wrinkle on Kami's head, it's instant death. You instantly lose. I don't... Kami wouldn't even be able to tank one normal attack from Omega. I see Omega? No way. Even in Omega, Kami has type advantage, but it doesn't, it's not going to matter too much. Um, I guess... I guess this is a good opportunity to put Kami in slot one right here, right? We got type advantage. If we're going to get him in slot one and get that extra 60... This is perfect, actually. We can, you know, as part of the showcase... Uh, we will show him with a 60% chance to dodge up right here. Um, and then we don't have to put him in slot one again. Because, again, like, every single term, we need to examine... Okay, there's one attack, and the, the least... Well, you have to put Kami where the least amount of attacks is. is how you're going to have to utilize his character. Because it's like he's... he Dude, these defensive levels he's at... I mean, it's just it's just unacceptable. I... Like, they would have... So, how to fix Kami? Um... He should be getting 50% defense from a super attack effect. He should be getting 100% defense. Because he he already, he already gets 100% attack on super attack. That's a multiplicative buff right there. But for some reason, he's not. it's like they forgot to give him defense right there. He needs 100% defense right there. And then the dodge chance has got to be buffed up to 70%, man. 70% baseline. None of this. I mean, bro, like, this, this foolishness. 
that extra 30% chance to dodge before he attacks, it'll be nice against Omega because, you know, that'll protect him a little bit from AoE normals. But, like, you're not running Kami and Saw 1. Nice. Okay. Okay. Kami, Kami doing his job, man. Oh, wait. He's actually goaded. Hold on. Oh, my God, dude. Calm down. Kami. Pretend that was STR Omega right there. And all of a sudden, Kami looks pretty good. Does he? looks pretty good, man. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, he needs 70% dodge baseline. Get that healing bullshit out of there. Just completely wipe that away and give him something else as well. Right? Like, get that bullshit out of there, man. That heal, like, you, you, we are not winning off of Kami getting the heal. Um, let me just, let's go ahead and pop this. I mean, this is where, I'm not going to play the animation. I don't want to take away from Kami's special moments here, man. <laughs> we, don't, we can't take away from Kami's greatness on this one. All right, so this is this is like mega juiced Kami we're going to see on this next rotation. We have Oob support, Yadrobi support, Bulma support. We got the trifecta going. Now, Bulma and Oob, of course, I mean, that's, you know, Omega viable. Yadrobi, I do not consider viable for the Omega Shenron fight, though. Hell no. I mean, we could have good RNG, and he could work 100,000%, right? But Yadrobi's the type of character um, I will not be running um, uh, against Omega. So, uh, if we're going to see Kami getting Yadrobi juice, it, it's going to be here. That's where we're going to do it. So, now that we did, we had our good turn um, putting Kami in front of Harm's Way in slot one, showing his dodge. Uh, for the rest of the fight, we will be keeping him out of Harm's Way. We will be... Making sure he does not get touched. I guess... I mean, he... Well, hold on. He does that attack debuff for Omega? I mean, guys. I mean, you know, attack debuffing is pretty relevant. Okay, boom. Right here. Perfect. So, we have... This is, like, as good as it gets for Kami. <laughs> Dude. This is, like, pretty... Like, I guess we could get Cold Judgment up. Uh, let me just quick... Let, let's pull up... Let's take a look at Cold Judgment real fast. We're looking for Earth Red Fighter characters here. Physical TN, I guess. Okay. Uh, again, we're looking for Earth Red Fighters. I mean, Tech, Krillin, and Gohan, they suck. We all know that. Um, Shen is ass. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no Earth Red Fighters set. Uh, I guess we do have the King. The King? He's great against Omega. Don't listen... Remember, I mean, I'm not spouting Tech Ultimate Gohan as, like, top 10 in the game or some shit like that. But don't let people pretend like he's bad. Because guess what? This guy got a lot better with the Omega fight. Because guess who's really good in the Omega fight? This guy right here. Right? When the fight goes on super long, guess who's good? Him. So, I guess... I guess we... That that Tech Ultimate Gohan plus Kami rotation is going to go pretty hard. The, oh, the, the problem, I guess, with Tech Ultimate Gohan and the Kami rotation... Um, is that we will not be doing enough damage. That's the problem. Uh, you know, with Kami on the team, uh, preferably we'd be finishing the fight uh, very speedy. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, you know, preferably we'd not want Kami to be getting uh, bullied by many attacks from the boss. So, it, it, he Kami actually does not synergize well with Tech Ultimate Gohan, despite the fact that he does support Tech Ultimate Gohan. Right? It's like, man, I, I mean, again, Kami... Like, let's be real. This is a burst mode type character. I feel like the showcase, like, we're pretty, we're pretty much good. Oh, Goku, thank you. We're pretty much good at this point. I, like, I, like, what more do we need to see from him? I guess we could see his heal. 50% HP and HP is 30% or less. Oh, but we're going to swap into full power. That's going to heal us, huh? I guess I could just not use it. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, Kami did 4.3 million damage. Okay. And the crit. He crit? He got the crit? Okay. Now, you guys understand the build. I'm rocking. For, obviously. We could use Yajirobe Sensu. What? Uh, you guys know the build. We're rocking for Kami. He actually has three. That was the three crit pop. Because Kami doesn't have crit in his kit. That's that's so funny. Um, Do I even need to get any more rotations from Kami? I feel like we probably don't, right? Like, he took that tech first form cell. 
He took a what is 166k? How how hard does that cell hit? Does he even do 300k damage that first form cell? Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get out of Oob. If we would leave Oob, um, that would cause us to heal. Uh, I would like to try. We'll do that. Yep. I would like to try and get um, Kami's healing ability. I don't think we're we're not gonna get it though because Yadrobi's gonna heal us at the end of the turn, unfortunately, which is gonna push us above Kami's heal. Maybe this will just do a little bit of damage to us. Did I not get through? I thought I got. Oh, that's I'm a silly Billy, right? 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 Yeah? 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 yeah. That's, again, Oob is very, very, very limited in how long you've got him. Yeah, even with the type orbs, um, Oob does not have his defensive abilities on the following turn. Well, I mean, do we chalk that one up to Kami? I was trying to get Kami's heal, and I mean, that's how that's going to go. Again, before I... Wow, dude. First form Cell, his damage is 230,000. And Kami took 166k to a boss that does 230,000. Let's just... I'm gonna... Hold on. I I'm gonna come right... Let, let, let me get... Let's get one more rotation. I, I mean, we've kind of seen what Kami has to do. I've explained if you're gonna use him, you do not put him in harm's way. I'm just curious how Kami will do against, I guess, like a real boss. I mean, I don't want to say that Red Zone Cell is not a real boss, but let's go up against, like, a big boss. Let's see how Kami does there. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're going up against the Metal Cooler core. Um, I just wanted to see what Kami would do against the actual core itself. But I do wonder, do we think Kami could even live on this turn right here? I, I would say the chances are very likely no. Now, keep an eye on full power. Oh, full power and... No, Kami is going to do fine right here, I think. Because we're going to triple debuff. I guess, I mean, this is a test for Kami right here. If full power doesn't dodge, um, he's we're going to be able to go into Oob on the next turn. Which I'm probably not going to do. Let, let's see what Kami does against the core without Oob. I'll, I will probably refrain from using Oob. Um, now, we are going to, every super attack, every character on this rotation right here, debuffs. Um, so the army is heavily debuffed and Kami has type advantage. But again, I mean, this is, this is a legitimate boss right here. Uh, I mean, this, this boss will disintegrate very strong characters. All right. So Kami could dodge. He is at double digit. I mean, dude, guys, everyone's underrating him. He's actually a God. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, hold that thought. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in a, a silly little situation right here. Um, now, obviously, the, the the way we would play this, Goku's only at 382. So the way we'd play this is this. Um, we would for sure get Bulma in slot one. Her support kicks in, so now Goku and Kami are going to be doing a little bit better. Like, if I was playing to win, I would do this right here. Um, let, let's put Kami in this last slot. If Kami clutches out for us, cool. Whatever, sure. Kami, prove the haters wrong. But, I mean, again, this is a real boss right here. 89k he's at. So, this is Kami without, um, it's Incredible Adventure. That gives three key 7% attack and defense, right? It's Incredible Adventure. Because, uh, God Into the Dragon Ball is just 20% attack and 7% chance to crit. Oh, it was probably God Into the Dragon Ball. That's why we crit earlier. It was, it was God Into the Dragon Ball's. All right, so let's uh, let's see. This is we got Bulma support up, stuff like that. He did not super attack. Okay, sure. All right, Kami, Kami will hang in there tough for us without a doubt. All right, nice uh, 2.5 million attack set. That's always good. I do like the 2.5 million attack set for Hundo. Nice dodge. Oh, but he actually is a god. <laughs> now, um, what do we say to that? I think we say that the dodge build is the correct way to play him. Yep, in skilled hands, 
Kami just goes crazy, man. What can I say? No, he sucks, man. Don't. No. <laughs> yeah, Kami. Kami is quite the trickster. Uh, I do not recommend people use Kami, go for Kami, expect anything from Kami. Uh, we'll, we'll do a video as well going up against Omega, more so for the memes. But yeah, I mean, Kami is not um, good enough. Uh, there's several changes that would have been needed to be made. For some reason, they gave him 100% defense from his passive and then, what, 35% defensive support? And they thought that was good enough on a 2023 character. It's insane. Right? Like, those defensive numbers you see at the start of turn, that's that's what his defense is. There's, it's not, not deeper to that. It's literally dodge or die. W one thing about... The reason why dodge builds can be so effective on certain characters, say Path to Power Kid Goku, the point of the dodge build is typically, right, Path to Power Kid Goku could tank all normals. Normals are not a struggle for him, right? And then it's a super attack comes in and we just dodge that and the dodge build is on its job. But when you have dodge or die characters, right, where maybe like LR, STR, UI Goku's like that now, where it's literally dodge everything because one hit is doing 500k to him, you don't want to use those type of characters, right? Like, EGL, LR, UI, Goku, when he EZAs, all we're looking for is that he could just tank normals. If, if LR, UI, Goku, a, the AJL one, if, if, like, if he could tank normal attacks after his EZA, it's going to be crazy. But, all right, anyway, there was Kami. I mean, yeah, we took him into the Metal Cooler core, and it was effortless, guys. It was very, very easy peasy. <laughs> it was, um, it was so easy, man. <laughs> Alright, this is God Guided Path Kami. Uh, leader skills all types, uh, key 3 and uh, HP attack and defense. I mean, that's certainly nice for like Battlefield or something like that, but I don't, I mean, I don't think you'd ever want to use Kami in Battlefield. I, Kami's probably not good enough even for Battlefield. I, it's he, strictly like burst mode. I, like, Kami's only value as a character is he dodges and then he is supporting. But, I mean, it's it's dodge or die. Like, to, like, bosses that their attack stats is, are under 300k. Like, it's, like, it, it, it's it's tough. It's tough. Um, Kami's super attack is the dragon light bullet, which does supreme damage to the enemy, lowers the enemy attack, and then greatly lowers enemy defense. His passive skill, advice for martial artists. He gets 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 100% attack when performing a super attack. Then he gives all allies 2 key and 25% attack and defense. We obviously love that. Uh, and then he gives Earthbred Fighter characters or Gifted Warrior category characters 1 key and 10% attack and defense. Then he has a 30% chance to dodge. And he gets an additional 30% chance to dodge before he attacks. That I, Don't get baited into thinking, oh, I'm going to run him in slot 1 every fight. It's not what you want to do. Um, but that extra 30% chance to dodge... Against, say, oh, the Omega fight could be useful. I mean, there's no... Dude, there is no way in hell they're telling you, yeah, run him against Omega. But, I mean, that dodge chance will have the effect of helping him against a fight like Omega, where Omega's doing these AoE attacks, right? Um, so, before Kami himself actually attacks, he gets a 60% chance to dodge. Which is good, but Kami is the true definition of dodge or die, right? Like, it's like, if he's not dodging, you're dying. Um, and then finally, he recovers 50% HP and HP 30% or less at the start of turn once only. But that ability sucks, honestly. I mean, the heal is fine, but, I mean, it's bad. Uh, his link set is Prodigies, Cold Judgment, Strength and Unity, Incredible Adventure, Guidance and Dragon Balls, and Shouting Limit. Pretty bad link set. He's only got six links, too. The Bastard doesn't even have seven links. Uh, 12 Cumul Spire, 135%. Uh, and then our boy Kami is on a few category teams here. He could help some of these teams out. Again, like I mentioned earlier, Realm of Gods probably is just outright worse than the Mechian, believe it or not. Realm of Gods is not in a good spot right now. Um, so we'll see. I mean, if the Worldwide Download Celebration, like, we got, like, you know, Goku Black and, like, a Blue Goku and Vegeta and Blue Vegito and Fusion Zamasu and stuff like that, sure. But, like, right now, I mean, Namekian probably is stronger between Piccolo Jr., this Piccolo, Orange Piccolo. Like, Namekians is in a much better spot, right? Um, we also have uh, the Dragon Ball Saga team, which Kami is a part of. I mean, I'd like buffs for this team, but unfortunately, Kami doesn't really quant quantify as that. Uh, Kami's also on the Gifted Warrior category team. 
Kami is on Heavenly Events. I mean, this is absolutely a team I'd love to get some help, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then finally, Kami is over here on Earthbred Fighters, and that is, of course, the team we were running him on. Now, remember, Kami at the moment does not have access to a 200% leader skill either. Um, it's just uh, very, very rough for uh, old Kami here. So, let me know what you guys think of Kami. I mean, yeah, my expert opinion is that he sucks. <laughs> what a shock.